What is happening everybody? Molecular Narwhal here with Voyager vlog thingy. Looking at a spectacular view off to the east of Anchorage. I just got done with my first day orientation. It was only, I was there from 8 a.m. to noon. Most days I'm gonna be there 4 a.m. to noon. Uh, well actually it's not noon. It's 11.45, I got off at like 11.30. Uh, basically just some basics and gave me a tour of Anchorage, although I've already done that myself. But look at those beautiful mountains. Yeah, there's, I am in some area and I am about to go to International House of Hot Dogs, I think, unless I can't find it. That's what I'm looking for. So once I go inside, I'll let you guys know. International House of Hot Dogs, that's what I'm trying to eat. But I'm at this building and it might be International House of Hot Dogs and it looks like they're in some trouble. If I find out, I'll let you know. See you guys in a bit. All right guys, so first of all, this restaurant is outside. It's currently like 50 something degrees, so it's kind of cold. But it's an awesome place. It's kind of like a food truck, so. Like that. International House of Hot Dogs. And uh, so here's what I got. The Frankenburger, the Frankenstein hot dog or something. The Frank, Franken dog. And cilantro fries, which they're famous for. They got like a secret chipotle sauce and ketchup, of course. This has like some sort of locally, local beef hot dog. Some sort of sauce is mustard and chipotle. Okay, my phone just randomly decided to stop on me. Anyway, so it's got like sauteed onion and pineapple and I think it's a bacon wrapped hot dog. It's pretty crazy. I'll let you know how it is uh, later on. And I have the apricot and nectar juice. I want, I want weird stuff, so that's weird sounding. Anyway, I'll let you guys know how it is once I'm done. All right, guys, so I am at Cafe Ristretto. I think that's how you say it. Drinking a breve, eating a peanut butter thing. And just look at that view from here. Amazing. All right, so this place has a really weird, oh, look at that little silhouette of me there. Oh, that's so cute. Anyway, uh, so this place has some weird elevators. Uh, I've never seen something like this before, but uh, maybe I'm just just a loser. You, you press your numbers first, then you, then you get on. Hi. And then you just you just do your thing. You just you just write it. You know? It's so weird. I'm too amazed by this. I'm sorry. I I'm I'm just petty like that, alright? These are just the little things in life, right? Just the little things. Alright guys, so I haven't been out much because it's been rainy like every day. Uh, hopefully going out tomorrow and the next day and those will be on this vlog I think for now I'm going to lunch at 49th Street Brewing Company gonna get a, a beer at 12 and food I'm across the street hopefully not die I'll see you guys in a second so here we are at 49th State Brewing Co and we are having a not Bahala venison burger and a, I think a Brewers Manhattan beer it's quite interesting Pretty good stuff all right so happy saturday everybody we are heading to breakfast right now today we have big plans we're leaving anchorage and going to palmer alaska it's about 45 minute drive north uh, we're gonna go on some hikes we're gonna go see a reindeer farm muskox farm um maybe uh a mining museum of some sorts uh, i don't know that's that's optional we're gonna go to a restaurant or two so there's gonna be two to three restaurants visited <laughs> today and hey what guys say i'm a restaurant tour uh, all right so guinea's old alaska restaurant last time we did breakfast we did it at snow city cafe today it's at guinea's it's about 6 30 a.m um and this is like I, i'm like i slept in because i've been getting up at three but yeah so i've heard that this place is delicious but nasty at the same time so i'm looking forward to it i messed the menu with some fun alaska facts wow See? This morning I have reindeer sausage, eggs cooked over easy, hash browns, biscuits, and coffee. Yeah, it's a good spread. Actually, American fries, not hash browns, but yeah, looks good. Heading to Palmer, just 
recording some random video while driving. Totally safe, don't worry about it. Alright guys, so I just made an impromptu stop because why not? This place looked really cool. So uh, we are in the Hatcher Pass area. This is the area we're in right now. I don't, no, I don't know exactly, but I think we're like somewhere along here right now. Because I just got to the Sestina River from what I could tell. Actually it was back there a little ways, but uh, I just seen it like 20 seconds ago and then this is like a drop off observatory kind of area for it, yeah. So we're going kind of there. Not there, up to uh, Bomber Glacier or Mint Glacier. Not going there either. Um, we might make our way there to the Independence Mines, but I don't know yet. But we will definitely be going around there. We're going to be going to, I don't remember what the trail is we're going to. Uh, I'll tell you when we get there. I have it pulled up on my phone, but uh, I don't want to mess up my video. So yeah, let's go look at S Little Sestina River. That's what we're looking at right now. It's pretty beautiful. It's a little tiny river, but uh, so you'll take a look at it. Here's a description of it. You pause the video if you want. Oh, okay, so yeah, we are here. We're literally at the entrance, and we're gonna go all the way up here, down to Hatcher's Pass, and then in here is where we're gonna hang out, I think, I'm pretty sure, we'll see. And then we might go to that independence mine, but we're gonna be around here. I think we're going up one of the, it seems like we're going there, but I don't know. We'll find out. And here's this, if this interests you. There you go. And this is what we're here to look at. So this is fed by a glacier, I'm pretty sure. This river, as is common in, in Alaska. Okay, if I drop my phone, Remember me kindly because I'll probably go in for it. I haven't seen a bear or a moose or anything. I've seen some birds. <laughs> but uh, the bear comes out right now. Also remember me fondly. I'll be in the river trying to upload this video before I die. Yeah, pretty pretty, right? I don't know if you can hear me at all, but it's pretty nice. All right, I'll see you guys at the next stop. All right, so this is honestly an even better view of little Sestina. I'm doing a little walk, look out for the bears real quick. My bear sprays in the car, so you never know. Uh, so yeah, look at it. So you can tell uh, it's like blue. It's because of the glacier runoff, right? So it's like blue water. It's pretty, uh, pretty amazing. And there's a mountain kind of thing. And uh, oh, there's another good view of a mountain earlier, but you can't see it now, I guess. So yeah, there's that. Yeah, I, was, I was hoping this is going to be a shorter vlog, but I guess this week's vlog is going to be long. Maybe it'll become two vlogs. Pretty nice. Alright, so time for another random video. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm looking at, because I can't see the my phone screen. <laughs> but uh, this is where I'm standing right now. There's my trusty car. And uh, let me turn up my brightness on my phone real quick. There we go. Okay, yeah, that's where we're at. This is, uh, I just pulled off real quick. This is heading to the Gold Peak Trail or something like that. I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, I can't see that. <laughs> so yeah, this is where we're at. This is where we're at. It's pretty crazy looking. If a bear came down, I think I'd get out in time. But well, that's pretty cool. You can see the clouds it in the mountains and you look back there that's the trail it goes all the way back there believe it or not and if that's a bathroom I'm about to go over there because I'm worried that where I'm going won't have one so let's walk over there but yeah this this isn't even where we're going I hate to say it but uh, it looks pretty cool let's lock my car although there's not I mean there's people there but there's no one back there but uh, yeah we're gonna See if this is a bathroom, and then go on to the next place. So I'm getting kind of sad, because I can't stop stopping. But, uh, it just looks too cool to not stop and look at. And there's lots of random places to stop. This is pretty cool. And I'm amazed by where you can stop, basically. It's pretty sad. Who knows where I'm going might be freaking awesome, and I've just wasted all this time videotaping. 
We'll see. Yeah, I'm driving in the clouds. Oh, Lord Jesus, help me. I'm videotaping while I'm driving, okay? Don't be bad. There's no one else on the road. It's not that bad. I'm driving in clouds. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> Look at that up there. Yeah, we're going to videotape this. This is going to be cool. <laughs> I don't give a crap. Oh, boy. Take a little picture. All right. My phone's going to die so hard. Luckily, I have my anchor on me. I have my... My case for my phone is a, is a battery in itself, but I guess it, what, 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 what was that? What was that? Did you guys, I hope you guys could see that. That was crazy. I saw something that looked like a meerkat earlier, but I'm pretty sure there's not meerkats here. So it wasn't a prairie. I don't know what it was. It looked like a freaking meerkat, but it was bigger than a meerkat though. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Uh, okay, all right, so I'm, uh, I'm gonna stop recording just in case crazy stuff happens, all right, bye. So I'm headed to April Bowl Hatch Peak. I'm at Hatcher's Pass right now, all by myself. Looks like no one's here at the gate to the... So this is a road that leads to several trails, right, but it's closed. The... What the heck? This must be ptarmigans. You guys see them? Huh. There it is. Oh, there's one of those uh, magpies. Let's see. Magpie. They're pretty, but they're annoying, I guess. Oh yeah, so I'll be hiking this. The actual trail's like a mile, but it's like a mile away. So actually a mile and a half away than the trail's a mile, so. I'll be walking a bit, and I mean, I've hiked many times in my life, but I've never hiked at increased elevation, so I might die. There's not very many woods here, which gives me hope in terms of bears and moose and stuff like that. But hey, you never know. It's cloudy up there. I have my trusty bear spray for those of you who are concerned. No gun though, cause I'm not local here. So yeah, my head's hurting. <laughs> not really that bad. I have labored breathing cause this is a oxygen deprived environment that I am not used to. You can see those nice lodges over there. It's like a uh, bed and breakfast kind of experience camp or experience hotel. And over there is the minor museum well i don't know if we're gonna have time for it actually but yeah okay i'm gonna stop doing this because i'm gonna die if i do more portions of this vlog i probably won't be talking but oh yeah one thing uh so bears are obviously a potential concern you know rip me if i get attacked but bear spray uh but something i was told is that the best thing you can do when you're alone is just talk and people are like, it's gonna be weird, but you just need to talk to yourself. And the whole time I'm thinking, hey, that comes natural to me, <laughs> you know? I'd be lying if I said I don't YouTube commentate on my own sometimes, so. All right, I'll see you guys if I see anything cool or when I get back to my little car down there. Just a random babbling brook coming down from the mountain. Look at all that clouds, guys. It's rough. All right, so I'm taking a little break. I don't know how far I am. I feel like I've walked a long way, but uh, yeah. So this trail that I'm going to is supposed to be fairly easy, right? Which that's the dream, but I'm currently walking up a road, so it's a little <laughs> more challenging. Uh, yeah, it's been been not bad. It's been a fun, but uh, what's out of breath? It definitely looks pretty. I've seen bear tracks and bear. Poop. So, yeah. But I'm about to take off again. After I record this, there's some animal running. There's definitely all kinds of rodents here. I saw a rodent that looked like a beaver when I hit this trail, or the road at first, but I couldn't get it on video. But yeah, see you at the next place. All right, so I'm at another little rest site. Just took my heart rate, because I'm cool and I can do that. 
It's pretty easy. Uh, <laughs> heart rate's 160, pretty good workout going on here. Could be a lot higher, but uh, if I was running up the hill, it'd be like, the mountain, <laughs> it'd be like 200. Yeah, but I'm walking at a pretty slow pace, but whew, lots of elevation, pretty steep incline. There's that, it's hard to see. It's pretty beautiful. Looking at the, I don't know how the, how well it works in the camera, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> this thing just yelled at me a second ago. It's looking up that hill pretty intensely. As I got closer, it like, come on, phone. A high pitched screech, kind of being cautious, don't really know what that meant. Guess we'll find out. I'll walk by it, see if it does it again. Nope, took off. Oh, that was fun. Okay, would you look at that? I made it somewhere of significance. I have not been attacked by a bear. All I've seen is those little rodent things. I don't know what they are. Have to look it up later. Hatcher Pass, elevation 3,886. That pales in comparison, of course, to Denali is like greater than 20,000, but whatever. So we are at Hatcher's Pass. Some people actually drove by me. I was walking up and some people drove by me. <laughs> at first I was like, uh, what? Oh, look, that's where we're headed. It says April Bowl Trail. We're, I think we're gonna walk up there. We're, we're gonna see. I'm pretty tired from that road walk, but I think we're gonna do it. Let's see what's over here. Let's just read. Let's see. 3,886 above sea level. Very nice. And let's see. Welcome to Summit Lake. Okay, you guys can look at that. I'll come back in a bit. I'm gonna read this. Oh God. Holy cow. Live jump scares, y'all. What the F? Those little rodents make the scariest sounds, but I always feel like they're alerting me or something. All right, I'm gonna read this thing, then we'll see what happens next. All right, so we are going up the April Bowl Trail because that's why we're here. Uh, so I started this walk at 10, it's not 11. I told Jessica as my lifeline uh, that if I did not get respond by one to send for help. So I have like half an hour before I need to turn around, although the return trip will be shorter. Um, so I have like half an hour to do this. Should be fine, it's just a mile. And uh, it does. it's an actual hiking trail, not a road, so it should be easier. But I am recording right now, just to tell myself when I pass this mark to turn right. So I'm literally recording this for myself, but you guys will probably see it. So, off we go. So here I am. I don't know where I'm at, probably halfway up or something. Some little pathways, some with some snow on them, makes them kind of intense. Not really too bad, but I'm a big tall guy. It's always weird and always nice to have little tiny paths, of course. And uh, I guess I'm sitting down on a rock, don't want to stand up and film backwards because I am too tall and scared to fall. So yeah, there you go. That's where I'm headed. All right, so I am up high on April Bowl. I don't know. What that is, it looks like a little pond or something. I don't know. We got a little babbling brook. Uh, there's more trail that goes up. I haven't decided if I'll go up the rest of the way. It looks awfully snow covered in places that you might be able to see. It's very foggy. Not exactly gonna, I mean, I, I can see quite a bit. I'm not sure on camera if you'll be up. Okay, that's a road that leads up to Something, maybe that's a campsite or something, I don't know. Yeah. This was supposedly a place, a popular trail that lots of people would be on. I have, I got drove, oh, there's a car down there. I've been drove by a couple times, but I haven't really seen anybody, which is interesting. So uh, yeah, I will continue walking. And I'm probably gonna turn around soon. I don't know, it's been quite the walk so far. So, uh, I don't know, that looks pretty fun, doesn't it? Uh, we'll see, all right. Okay, so I think I'm actually at April Bowl. I think this is the April Bowl right now. I don't know enough to know for sure. <laughs> but it looks like a little frozen lake, pond, dealio. 
See this little babbling brook that we walked by the whole time? Feeds down there, trying to fall off. So I'm sure it will make a hilarious clip. So the water actually goes under that ice there. Still haven't seen any bears or moose. I know that that's like a goal kind of is for me too, but at the same time, I'm very happy to not see any so far. I think we're gonna go up there, um, but yeah. I thought I saw something in the reflection of the camera just then. Okay, well, we're really high up. Uh, we're gonna turn around soon. Every, every time I get somewhere, I think about turning around, so we'll see. It's gonna be, it's a hard climb up and the climb down should be easier, but at the same time, there are some steep points, so it will be a little dicey at spots. That's um, not terribly excited about. Once again, I'm 6'5", so, you know, if you're tall or you know tall people, heights are, it's kind of a paradox. Heights are our enemy. But yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys soon. All right, so this is 100% where I stop and turn back. Okay, I'm gonna take my time because I don't want to fall off a mountain. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, look at that blue sky is coming out. How about that? Okay, so I might hang out for a few minutes and see how clear it gets. How about that? There's that. I'm at, I'm literally at the top of this. Uh, well, I'm not quite at the top. The very top of, I think it's Hatcher's Peak is what it's called, is right there. But uh, let's see. If we go take a look at it. Yeah, I'm not cutting anything in this vlog, so I'm not like editing. So sorry if you're watching this, but <laughs> if you're watching this, it's because you, you're interested, I guess. So there you go. Up there is Hatch Peak. Super foggy looking there. I'm not gonna go up there. Don't feel worth it. Might be, who knows? Might regret it. There is, I guess this is April Bowl. Like, I mean, it's, so the mountains here, they form a bowl that presses down into this lake. I guess this is like a made by glacier lake, but it's not like a glacier. Ooh, it's getting warm up here. Went from really cold to really warm fast. Let's take a picture. Yeah. Yep, so that's the peak, I think. I don't know for sure if you're an Alaskan and I'm saying stuff wrong, I'm sorry. And yeah, it's pretty impressive. It's been a nice, long, hard walk. And I would be lying, that's the way back, if I said it wasn't ready to go back. But it's very impressive. I'm gonna hang out here for a second, take a little break, see if it clears up. Look around for bears. There's that little hill. And I'm gonna take some more pictures, of course. All right, I'll see you guys sometime between here in the car or at the car. Bye-bye. So I'm actually about 1.2 miles up. Uh, maybe since we last recorded that, I've probably gone about the 0.2 miles, but that's where we started down there, if you can see it. So I think that's where we started. I'm pretty sure that's where we started, and that's where we're headed. Doesn't look very far, but it felt far. <laughs> so that's quite the sight, headed down this mountain. It's a little clearer now than when I walked, it's actually, the clouds are higher than when I walked up here. There was a little brief moment of clearness, but after that sun came out, it actually got uh, less clear briefly after that. But now in the distance, you can see a little bit more. Of course, that's where we came and it's still cloudy up there. It doesn't look cloudy when you're in it, <laughs> but you're in clouds. Like, I mean, I'm still in clouds right now, I'm pretty sure, but yeah, you know, whatever. Looks cool. Of course, there's lots of stuff I'm taking pictures of that's probably not in this video. Check out my Instagram if you want more. But uh, this isn't the end of this vlog probably, so yeah. So I just wanted to show you guys what was undoubtedly the hardest part of this whole thing. There's this little patch. It just goes up to this rock and basically that little patch where it's snow covered. And it is so hard to pass. I already passed it. I just came back down it. But uh, that was a challenge. <laughs> So I shouldn't be filming because I have way too much for this vlog already. This is like almost definitely part two of the vlog that was originally going to be one. It might even end up being three part. Who knows? Um, oh, it doesn't matter. The people who want to want me to do these or were interested in these will 
watch it all either way, probably. Uh, so here's where I'm at. It's pretty nice looking. Hopefully the camera doesn't lose its focus because I can't really see. Uh, we, we've been, I think we've been, this is where we first rested. Uh, but I'm getting pretty close to my car. It's way easier, like heart rate wise, endurance wise, breathing wise. Like you can tell I'm not really out of breath now. Um, of course going downhill, but I'm going down pretty steep. So like strength wise is pretty demanding. There's that babbling brook. I swear to God, there's a bird that is singing Fall Out Boy and I'm okay with it. So yeah. All right. So pretty cool. Hey doggy. How you doing? Chat pet? It's okay? <laughs> look, look guys, oh my gosh. It's the postal guy from Majora's Mask or Ocarina of Time. That's the bunny hood guy in Ocarina of Time. How can he run up here? He must be dying. Props, props to that guy. Oh, we got bikers coming up. Jesus. Jesus, help them, please. So that running guy told me to have a good day. And I said, you too. And I kind of chuckled and I kind of felt bad, but I couldn't help but feel like, dude, you should not wish me a good day. Like, all the gods in the world need to come together to provide you a good day running up this freaking mountain. Good luck. Let's talk to these bikers. I'm not going to videotape you on that because that's weird. Guys, it's... No... We got it though, it's okay.